that's me getting fit in the kitchen. Um, so yeah, I'm Liz and I have lost, um, as of the time of filming this video, I've lost 111 pounds on a whole food plant-based no oil diet. Um, and here I'm going to show you one of my favorite new recipes today. Uh, I am obsessed with these. These are portobello pizzas. So instead of a pizza crust, it's a portobello mushroom uh, loaded up with pizza sauce, my homemade mozzarella cheese that I will show you how to make in this video, and uh, veggies and sun-dried tomatoes, the kind that are packed in a vacuum sealed bag, not oil. <laughs> So if you're new here, I follow a whole food, plant-based, no oil, no added sugar or salt diet. Um, I am still working on the salt part. You'll see that there are coconut aminos in this recipe, um, and I give you a substitute if you are having no added salt. Um, so yeah, that's something I'm working on. Uh, I have stopped using actual salt, um, and I'm just working on cutting out any uh, condiments with added sodium. Uh, except for miso paste, which I will explain why in the description and later in the video. Okay, let's get into the video where I show you how to make these amazing portobello pizzas. And they make an excellent entree um, along with like a side, like vegetables, or if you're like me, you just have tons and tons of vegetables until you feel full. Um, or you can add like starch, like pasta would be great, or air fried um, potato wedges uh, without oil and uh, quinoa and stuff like that. So, and please subscribe uh, as it really helps my channel out. Uh, I would love to let you get notified or put it in your subscriptions when I post a new video. And I would love it if you hit like if you like this video and leave me a comment. Please be nice. Um, and let me know what other kind of videos you like to see. And yeah, let's just get into the video. So we're going to make the cheese first. Um, Normally this would start off with silken tofu, however I discovered at the last minute that I am out. Um, so I'll show you how I adapt if I don't happen to have the type of tofu that I want. Um, so this is soft tofu, which is pretty much the next best thing, because the softer it is, the more water content it has. Um, so yes, we have a soft tofu block. I've drained it. Um, I'm going to stick it in my blender. Just to make things easier to blend up, I'm going to break it into a few pieces. So I'm going to add a little bit of soy milk, which you can use any unflavored, unsweetened plant milk. Um, soy milk is just what I always have. Uh, that way I can get it to blend. So this will create a tiny bit more cheese sauce, and we're barely going to even scratch the surface of how much is made. So I'll show you in another video what I'd like to do when I have a surplus of cheese sauce. Hint, it's pasta. <laughs> Now we're going to do uh, two to three tablespoons of lemon juice, and I'll put the recipe in the description below. I have miso paste. This is instead of salt. Um, I'll explain why in the description, um, but miso is generally accepted uh, as a good substitute for salt if you're watching your sodium because the soy in the miso has a protective effect, so the sodium doesn't affect us as negatively. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to stick this in there. If you can't have any added salt, um, just add a little bit more of the spices and the lemon juice, it'll still be tasty. And if you don't have miso and you don't care about sodium, go ahead and add like a half teaspoon to three-fourths teaspoon of salt. Uh, then I have garlic and onion. Uh, I have nutritional yeast. This happens to be non-fortified nutritional yeast, so it's not yellow because it's not fortified with the B vitamins. This is just what I buy, and it happens to leave our cheese very white, which kind of works because it looks like a mozzarella. You can use whatever you have on hand. And what I recommend doing at this point, if you haven't ever tried my cheese sauce, is I would recommend blending this up and tasting it, adjusting the sodium, the lemon juice, the garlic, all that stuff to your taste preferences before you add in your thickener because the thickener before it's cooked kind of tastes powdery and a little gross. Um, but once it's cooked, you won't taste it that. It just tastes delicious. This is tapioca starch, otherwise known as tapioca flour. It helps give our cheese a stretchy, kind of melty, thick quality. If you don't have this, you can use cornstarch or arrowroot powder. It won't give us that stretchiness, but on a, such a small little portobello pizza, you really don't need to worry about stretchiness. Now, if you were trying to make it for a grilled cheese or something like that, I would highly recommend not skipping the tapioca. backwards, it's 
So I'm going to do squats as per usual while at once. So I will see you in a minute. tapioca, taste it, adjust it as necessary, put it in the tapioca, and then blend. Um, I've made this a bajillion times, so I know how I like it. So we have pretty thick sauce here, and I want to pour it out. Um, it will thicken more as it cooks, too. Now we get to make our pizzas. All right, so here I've got some portobello mushrooms. They have been cleaned, uh, which I clean them with a damp cloth. Um, and then I took out the stems, which I do save for later. I put them in a stir fry uh, or cook them and just kind of incorporate them into my vegetable side. No waste or as little waste as possible. Um, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some coconut aminos and I'm going to add it to these mushrooms here. I don't want to add too much. I'm just at looking to get a little flavor on them. If you cannot have any kind of added sodium at all, like there's only a little low, there's only a little sodium in these, but if you can't have any sodium, try balsamic vinegar or unsalted vegetable broth or uh, stock. So I'm going to take a spoon. I'm just going to add like a teaspoon or a half teaspoon to each one. Now I'm going to take a silicone basting brush and just kind of brush these. If you don't have one of those, you can use a spatula or just use your fingers. Now I'm going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning to each one. All right, now we are going to sauce it with our pizza sauce. You can use any kind of pizza sauce that you have on hand. If you want to make a quick no salt pizza sauce, just blend up canned peeled tomatoes with granulated garlic, granulated onion, dried basil, and dried oregano or Italian seasoning. So I'm going to take a spoon and I'm just going to uh, spread it around a little bit. You might need a little bit more depending on how big your mushroom is. Here I have the cheese, so I'm just going to take a new spoon and I'm going to just kind of put it on top. And don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the back of my spoon and kind of gently dip some of the cheese and tomato sauce swirls together. That's okay. Now we'll put on our toppings. Um, so I have yellow bell pepper and red onion. The reason these look a little bit janky is because I screwed up and I put the veggies in before the cheese. Um, so then I freaked out and I took all the veggies out and I rinsed them. <laughs> then I put the cheese on and now I'm doing this. Uh, I really think it would be okay if you put the veggies on first and the cheese on top. Uh, I just really wanted it to look a certain way for the video. <laughs> You could do any kind of toppings here. You could do, I would love black olives, but I have to, I can't trust myself around them because I'll just eat the whole can. Um, you could do like spicy like banana peppers or like something like pepper do peppers. You could do uh, you could do really any kind of veggies you want. Basil would be great in here. Spinach would be great in here. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do sun-dried tomatoes. Now these are the kind that come in a little uh, bag, like a vacuum sealed bag instead of a jar of oil. So these ones are actually from Trader Joe's, but I've seen other brands at other stores if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you. I personally do not have a Trader Joe's near me and have to drive 45 minutes. <laughs> um, but these sun-dried tomatoes, they don't come in any oil. If they're really dried out, you can soak yours in some hot water and drain them before you use them, but these ones 
These are pretty malleable and soft, so I'm gonna use these. I'm just gonna add a pretty generous portion to each one. The reason I don't wanna add fresh tomatoes to this, like cherry or grape tomatoes, is because those have more liquid. Um, and these already prop are gonna turn out, you know, kinda, kinda juicy. The mushrooms release liquid while they cook. There's the tomato sauce on top. The cheese does thicken and firm up because of the tapioca in there, but, you know, it's still, like, they're kind of wet pizzas, but in the best way. They're so juicy and flavorful and delicious. I can't wait to see how these ones turn out today. I made some great ones last weekend that I photographed for the blog. I'm just going to use these up as much as I can here. All right. So now we have our delicious pizzas. And now I'm going to put these in the oven and bake them for 20 to 25 minutes until everything gets nice and browned um, and the cheese gets kind of firm. Let's go. All right, here are our Portobello pizzas. As you can see, they are super juicy. And I'll just put these on a plate and cut one open for you so you can see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so as you can see, we now have our portobello pizzas. I have three on a plate. Um, I can't tip it too much. Uh, <laughs> these are just the best. Um, I really hope you try this recipe because it's fantastic. So I'm going to have I'm going to have these as my lunch right now. I'm going to split them with my partner. I have the three smallest ones on this plate for me. Um, and I'm probably going to have it with this very ugly bowl of cauliflower, <laughs> which is basically just a pound of frozen cauliflower with coconut aminos and um, my homemade mushroom uh, seasoning. That's what I do when I need a side dish that um, I don't have time to make. I just take a pound of frozen veggies, season it up, and that's how I do it. I usually don't even use coconut aminos. I usually use uh, like flavored vinegar or something like that, um, but it's just what I had today. So yeah, anyway, I hope you like this recipe and let me know what you wanna see next. Um, I have had a couple of suggestions. So next coming up in the queue, we have a uh, stir fry recipe and uh, what I eat in a day I'm going to try that type of video too when I have a little bit more time and can kind of um, remind myself to film uh, instead of just tearing into breakfast as soon as we get home from the dog walk, which is what I usually do. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I hope you really like this video and leave me a comment below letting me know what you thought and give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day. Bye!